Hey, this is a game called Stars One. I've been playing it a little bit lately, and I'm going to show you uh, what it is. <laughs> here on episode 18, a little introduction to the game. Actually, here's the important thing. Here's what you want to watch. Now, this is, I don't know, European or something where they put the uh, day first and then the month and then the year. So this shows the last time it was patched, which uh, today is actually the 9th. So this was patched two days ago. So this is the number you want to watch because whenever you log in and it's different, that means there have been changes. And uh, I don't know how many changes were in this last patch or whatever. I checked out the show notes, but a lot of bug fixes and stuff like that. Okay, so I've got my workshop, I think, just about finished. So here it is. Uh, so I've got the big workbench. I've got my stack of appliances over there. That looks kind of weird, the texture. I guess it's just the light reflecting off the bricks. Got windows and all the window holes. Got the roof on. Uh, I've got my two chests over here. These are things I get from outside, and these are things that I've made. So it's kind of easy uh, to know which box to go to. Uh, so I think that's about it uh, for the workshop. You come outside, and there's my house across the street. These brick paths, I'm calling them streets. Now I will say, now see how that fan is stuttering a little bit? Uh, I w it was getting pretty bad, even when my movement was getting... It's even stuttering a little bit still, like right now. But what I figured was the more I built, the more I put into this world, the more resources it was taking, and it was causing uh, my computer to slow down a bit. So I went into the options, and the first thing was shadows. I always knock those down. In fact, I'm, this shadow distance, I'm going to crank it down to 75. And let's just go to low resolution for the shadows. Let's see what that looks like. Because you can already see it's still a little stuttery. But anyway, shadows don't mean a whole lot to me. So if they're, even if it's just bad shadows, I'm fine with that. Uh, just as long as the game's smooth. Okay, so that's my house. Now, what's down the road? Oh, huh, another building in front of the sun? Let's see what this is. This is a restaurant. Yep, this is where you come to eat. Now, I still have to make some uh, glass, some windows for these end parts. But this is where I keep all my food now. So, instead of going to my workshop, instead of going to the house, I figured perfect place for food is a little restaurant. So this is like a little diner. Now, what's this back door for? I'll tell you. Thanks for asking. I'm going to build a fenced-in area back here. And this is where I'm even going to grow my fruit uh, to stock the fridge. So right now, I'm just kind of gathering fruit from my backyard at the house, which is right over here. It's finally starting to look nice, too. I uh, got lemon trees, got lemons growing, bananas. So what I'm going to do is just move all that over to the uh, back behind the restaurant. So whenever I have anything to do with food, it's that building there. Whenever I have anything to do with construction, it's this building here. And <laughs> when I entertain uh, guests in my multiplayer multiplayer games, uh, that's what this building is for. Now this, <laughs> which used to be the workshop. Is now my indoor garden, and uh, it's not doing so well. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I've been growing cotton since the early days, and I have no use for it yet. Okay, so I do still want to make a dock. What I'll probably do is this flat area here. I'll lay out like a brick uh, terrace. I'll probably make some more of that iron fencing. I like that. Then I'll just have a wooden dock which go goes out over the water. Now let's see how many uh, 
blocks I have, bricks, I have left. Maybe we'll work on that now. Okay, I have seven. And that is, is, isn't nearly enough. Now, what I need to make those is you put clay in the furnace, and it'll create clay bricks. Then you use the bricks, two bricks, to make one block. So it's going to be a little while while that works. Now, I did find a secret. <laughs> not a secret. Uh, I found a quicker way to make glass uh, because I had been doing sand, but I ran out of sand. Uh, so if you put uh, silicone powder, the refined stuff, it goes fast, and there you go. Another pane of glass. Uh, what I really need, I think at this point, is this. Ore extractor. I don't know what it does, but it sounds like it can get iron ore, maybe copper ore. I'm thinking maybe you place it out in the field. And wherever you place it, you go gather ore from it. Now, that's just me guessing. Because the problem is, I scoured this whole island yesterday, and there were no ore. There was no ore at all for me to mine from. There are those veins that are over here. But those just give me stone. I don't need stone. I need iron ore and sand. So I'm thinking at some point you need to make that uh, ore extractor because eventually you're going to run out of resources, which I hope they respawn because if that's all I get and my game is over, then that wasn't very pleasant. Well, it was fun, actually. I really had a good time. <laughs> but I don't want to start over. I will not be starting another world. Maybe if I do, though, it's going to be on a big island next time. I think that will give me a wider variety of foods to eat uh, and to plant. Uh, okay, what do I need to do now? You know what? I could start working on uh, making fencing for the back of the restaurant. Let's go work on that. Okay, I'm just kind of wandering around at the moment. Let's go to fence. Okay, so we need one log, two of these, and eight of those. I'm going to need some more of these, and that's going to require some pressed, some plates. So let's, oops, ah, let's get the plates working. What's going on here? There we go. And while that is working, I can't really do anything. Yeah, the iron fence, that's going to be a problem. I was wanting to make that decorative, but take six iron ingots and... I'm so low on iron ore. It's not even funny. I think I can use this uh, to create ingots. Let's see. I think it was in the crusher. Oh, no. This is refined. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure. That's going to be crazy times there. Okay. So let's go back to the fence. Let's make, we'll just do five of these. There we go. Gives us plenty. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, ten. Let's just go 15 for now. Okay, 14. That's all I've got parts for. That might be plenty. All right, let's get the fence started. We'll do there. So I calculated like five. One, two, three, four, ah, five. I think that'll be plenty. Let's rotate this. Where'd it go? having troubles rotating. Okay, let's do this. Why 
is it going so slow? Ah, something screwy. Let me go back here. There we go. I don't know what all that was. One. Two. Three. Four. Actually, I think I worked that out pretty good. Now, if you see this hiding out here? I've got that hidden uh, from view because the big distributor over there by the house its range didn't quite go this far. Uh, I wasn't getting lights. I wasn't getting power inside. So I was like, well, you know what? Let me put this, and that'll totally encapsulate this and a little area out here if I want to add anything else. So now all that's covered. So don't have to worry about that. And it actually, I'll show you what it did after I get this fencing done. Oh, I need one more. Um, what it did was it bumped up the other distributor was getting about 5,000. And when I added this one, it bumped up to 5,500. So I don't know if by adding those, you actually increase the amount of power available. All right, but I need one piece of fence. So where am I going to borrow that from? Uh, I think for now, and I'm just doing this because I don't want to have to go make. There we go. Oops. I don't want to have to go make all the little parts again. We'll just borrow this one. Okay, but I do want to flip it around like that. Okay, so that's a nice little yard. I'm going to go ahead and knock down this uh, orange tree, though. Let's, let's take the fruit from it. Now, what's nice when you cut down a fruit tree is it becomes like a shrub, and you can replant it. There we go. See the sapling orange tree? All right. So I've actually got a lot of those. Let's put these in here. I've got quite a few orange shrubs already. So I'm going to go grab a few of those. Oops. Okay. Sapling orange tree. One. I'm going to do four again. And then I'll go over and I will do... I'll make seeds out of the bananas and lemons. Alright. Let's take... One, two, three, four bananas. Those only give one seed each. I'm going to craft. Oops. Banana. See, it only gives you one seed. So I'm going to do all three, all four of those. Did I, did I take four? Uh, yeah, I'll do four. Okay, so I've got four banana seeds. Now if I want orange, that's going to do three each. But I'm just going to do... One. Why do I have my sword? Okay, let's do one orange. Craft. Does that give me three seeds? Oh, I don't... Why did I do I didn't mean to do an orange. I meant to do lemon. Okay, that's going to give three also. So we're... Mm. So we're just going to do one. I don't eat lemons very often in the game or in real life. Okay, let's do those. And that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I say we run them. Let's do it like this. Orange tree. Could be pretty big. Uh, let's put the lemons. One, two, three. I don't know how this is gonna look. 
And then the bananas will just put right down the middle. One, two, three, <laughs> four. That's going to be interesting. All right, we'll see him. And we'll just plant him out here, right there. Uh, I need to make a couple doors. How's my hunger doing? I'm not doing too bad. You know what I was gonna make one time? I got sidetracked and had to make something else. I was gonna do a medical capsule. Oh no, I did make a medical capsule. I mean, I was going to make, uh, what was it called? Uh, chemical laboratory. But here's the problem. There are a few of these industrial things that I want to build now, but the problem is right here, these advanced electronics. And the problem with that is I can make silver plates. It takes a while, but I can make them. It's the silicon wafer. And I've got silicon wafer low quality. So what I was going to do, uh, the bricks are cooking. No. I'm trying to figure out if there's something I can put these... It won't be the distiller. Something I could put these low quality ones in like in quantity and it would make a better one. Now, I'm not going to let it cru in the crusher because it makes some kind of powder. I don't want that. Um... So I don't know how to make high quality silicon wafers. Now once I figure that out, that's my next big step. Then I'll be able to make 